how are y'all be delicious people? Today we are able to unlock Kimberly Ultimate Original Pink Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So we are going to unlock her today. Uh, but anyways, after that we're going to be able to uh, level her up. So I guess we'll do that because uh, ultimately we might be able to use her as a leader. So let's pause here. Let's ultimately try and otherwise uh, boost her up and let's see ultimately if I can use her or not. Because ultimately check it out and see ultimately what we can do with her so let's pause here and let's do that all right so let's see if uh like more than likely this will probably go horribly but we'll we'll just kind of see today let's let's take the let's have the odds be ever uh, forever in our flavor uh to ultimately see where we're gonna go with this one this character So maybe it'll work bizarrely maybe it'll just weirdly just work uh i think it'll happen maybe uh let's see what also what the daily is oh good using any mighty morphin power rangers hero or later villain thing anyways well good that's what we're gonna do it couldn't be going any worse than what it has been going <laughs> silly downward consistently repetitiously so maybe people will be baffled and confused by ultimately having kimberly in the in the wrongs of such place of life Let's get ready. Gear up. Shift in turbo and such. Because it's going to happen. Oh, come on. Shift into that turbo. You can do it. Shift into it. <laughs> I know that's not Kimberly's season. Because uh, ultimately she had left before... Uh, before... Uh, whoops. Whoops. Uh, before Zeo was even, or before, not Zeo, uh, before Turbo was a thing. Because she left during, uh, or she left even before uh, Zeo. Yeah, that's right. Because ultimately she was just a person that wanted to probably do other things. She's probably like, dude, I can do a bajillion other projects and make a load of money. But ultimately they probably won't be as re recognizable, sadly, as, uh, as Power Rangers will be, but still. Uh, good for her for, for stepping outside the box. And then plus eventually, like, eventually everyone was eventually going to have to. It was just a matter of time. Um, plus, uh, I remember hearing, like, a lot of the Rangers ultimately, like, mentioning how, like, uh, like uh, Sabin and them were ultimately mentioning, like, hey, dude, at any point you can be replaced. So when looking at it, they're just like... Yeah, I think that's about my time to ultimately be replaced. Uh, but I think recently they've been uh, still in good favor with uh, the people of that uh, that thing, that place, and environment. So when looking at it, uh, like, yeah, you can ultimately say all you want. Um, like, I know, like, David Yost is, like, freaking amazing. Uh, and ultimately, any, any interviews with, with the Yost, with the David... Is just like man of those interviews always fun. Um, but ultimately, we have like David also like uh, just ultimately having uh, any kind of interviews, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I'm scraping at the bottom of the barrel of Power Rangers talk at this point, uh, going down to it. Um, like, I think it's interesting to see. Like, especially through the the whole, like, scope of, like, the new normal and stuff like that, where, like, uh, Jason David Frank is still trying to do, like, signings for his fans. You can ultimately see him being, like, masked up and uh, ultimately, uh, like, trying to get his stuff promoted out there. But also he is, like, just trying to still do signings and because uh, ultimately he's just like I like I want to try to just get to my fans because uh, ultimately this like this stopped a lot of things and and ultimately like like people weren't sure about like what was to uh, like especially like there were so many things that just basically just it was so interesting to see and hear like okay, what happened to this? Like, oh, well, uh, like, what happened to, like, hey, like, people want to do signings? Oh, just, like, we have it to where, um, uh, 
Bruce Campbell, the guy that was doing uh, what's going on, uh, the guy that was doing uh, the Evil Dead movies. He ultimately was. Uh, he was doing signings at drive-ins. He was doing like pictures taken at a drive-in because what else could you really do? And plus, ultimately. Uh, drive-ins are like they're booming now so ultimately you wanted to just ultimately try to see what he could do to help out people that have been struggling through this and ultimately just try to get back out there and good for him um, but yeah but it was it was interesting to like, man, am I just pulling from, uh, if ultimately at the end of the day, if you haven't seen the Michael Rosenbaum, uh, YouTube channel inside of you, I thought that some of the, some of the conversations in there were just really fascinating and ultimately I really want to see the one that's coming up, uh, that I saw today that ultimately has Ernie Hudson in it. Cause ultimately I had seen him do some interviews here and there, but, uh, recently I just kind of want to hear his thoughts about things. Uh, especially cause he, uh, like I heard from, uh, uh, when he was doing the interview of reunited apart that ultimately he was like, uh, uh, he was making his journey out to, uh, Minnesota for reasons. Um, but ultimately, yeah, uh, like it was just kind of, uh, really interesting to have, uh, Ernie H Hudson talk about, uh, like him just talking about like films and stuff. Like I remember him talking about, um, uh, he was talking about, I think in some interview he was talking about that he was like, uh, really emotional when, uh, you got the guys back into their old suits again and, and, uh, just on set again, all working together in some capacity, who knows what actually Ghostbusters afterlife is going to have them do. Uh, yeah, Zach, or Zach, uh, <laughs> Adam, man, I talk about Zach so much that it's like, yeah, Zach, even though it's Adam, um, but yeah, I saw ultimately cause I have the, the Facebook, uh, like to this and ultimately they were talking about Adam getting his own skin in the game. I'm like, well, good for whoever gets that, but I'm sure it's like a very exclusive item. So Uh, power pass. Yeah, it's one of those. Uh, pass my blast. That's what I say. Pass my blast. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to hit that button. Let's battle. Let's battle some more so I can win some more, hopefully. Two wins? Two wins, you say? I could probably play as Ninja as well and probably, uh, maybe still get this. Because ultimately... Uh, when I played as Ninja once, evidently the Mighty Morphin thing counted for Ninja. I was like, isn't like, well, I guess that was as Ninja was still a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger but, character, but I didn't think of it like that way. I thought he was so late in the game. Like I thought he wasn't actually in the, the Mighty Morphin thing. I guess maybe that was right around the time of which that they did the movie and they had to do like the movie variation of the show. And so they incorporated Ninja in it. But I really wasn't thinking of that. Uh, and I'm kind of interested, like, uh, the girl that ends up giving, uh, the people the powers in the movie. I wonder how she feels about them, like, doing the variation of which they did on the show, where it's just a, uh, 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 kind of a very obscure ninja character that ultimately sounds like, uh, uh, freaking, uh, God, what, what does he sound like? I'm trying to figure it out. Um... I want to say, like, High Ho Silver Away. Like, he sounds like a very, like, Lone Ranger-ish, like, person. Um, to me, honestly. Uh, come on. Oh, no, I'm not gonna have energy. I'm not gonna have energy. I'm not gonna have energy. <laughs> Break. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just come from behind, why don't you? Oh, my God. That was a scraping of the bottom of the barrel to get that win. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow, was that awesome. Oh, just that come from behind wind rolled to me. Uh, the person was like, yeah, I'm going to beat you. And I'm like, swerve. 
Uh, cause ultimately I would be dead at that point. I would be dead. Uh, but luckily that didn't happen this time around. Uh, maybe there, maybe there is life left in us yet. For ultimately there's a, there's a come around to all this. Uh, maybe there's a possibility, uh, that things are going to just turn around. <laughs> Who knows with the journey of which that we go into. Come on game. Come on. Uh, but yeah, I think the worst thing is to ultimately just keep getting like these unbeatable characters that I'm like, God, there's no way I'm going to beat this person. But I think I've gotten luckier where I've just been able just to just by the skin of my teeth a lot of the times just just come back and be able to just get around some characters. No. Freeze you. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Oh, I'm going to put Zed on you. He kind of barely clipped you, but anyways. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, dang it. Come on. No, no, no. Mm. Oh, no. You blocked that attack? Seriously? Yeah, I'm going to freeze you, but I'm going to have nothing to do. Ah, uh, but I'll do that, though. Mm, you like that? I bet you didn't. Oh, you missed. You missed, brah. Did I call you a brah? Are you okay with that? <laughs> I hope I didn't offend you. Oh, come on. No. Come on. Oh, oh, dang it. I released that move far too irrelevant. Yes, thanks. Pre appreciate it. I didn't think I was going to beat this guy, but luckily... Uh, at some points, I can miss stuff, but not always. So I always have to be concerned with that character, and, like, I think it's a purple... God, what is that show? Dino Charge character? Yeah, there we go. That I have to... Like, I can miss them. Uh, and sometimes I can even miss some of... Uh, like, when Green Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers has his, uh, his assist... Like, he's an assist character. I don't think I can dodge some of his stuff, too, but that's a little bit harder. And, like, Pink Ranger, uh, some of the Pink Rangers, the Kimberly stuff, I can dodge some of her things, but... Don't connect me. Connect floor. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you didn't hit me that time. But I hit you with my love. Cat, what are you doing? What are you doing, Cat. Come on, meow. Meow for me. <laughs> I think it was interesting that uh, Kat had mentioned that she would like to be able to do, like, an evil, like, cat story again, where she was evil. Like, why can't we have that be in an episode? I think it would be fun. I think, ultimately, like, when they had her return for the show, that's what they should have done with her, I think. That would have been fun, but ultimately, like, all they do now is these, like, reunion episodes where, like, she's just a person that is there to just morph, and that's usually about it most of the time. Like, a lot of the time, she doesn't have, like, a story incorporated with uh, whatever she's doing. Uh, oh, come on! Lagging isn't helping me right now. It's not being my best friend, and she is moving around way too effing much. To where I am not able to do what I can because lag. Uh, you are the lag dragon. <laughs> I will use my power forevermore. Bleep, bleep, bleep. You are the lag dragon. God dang it. That's the only reason why I lost that fight was lag. It's the only real reason. It's like she had some way of like lagging, uh, lagging it to where ultimately, like she was doing it herself. She's like, oh yeah, I've been lagging all day. So I'm going to be playing during this time where it's just like I could work through the lag. She like, it looks like that person had just been like, just trained to just like, yeah, I'm going to use lag to my benefit kind of thing. That's where she won.
clearly. Because I have no other problems with anybody else so far, with the exclusion of Tommy, who has a shield. Yeah! Oh, just Tommy! I miss you! <laughs> I miss fighting, I miss fighting Green Ranger Tommies. It, it seems like they have, like, people have decided to no longer go for the Green Ranger Tommy anymore. I miss, I miss fighting them. Like, it feels like, it feels like an old pair of shoes, if you know what I mean. Just ultimately just fighting a Green Ranger Tommy. Just a new pair of shoes that ultimately just, like, fit really well. But ultimately, I just, I just, every once in a while, just, uh, I just enjoy just fighting a Green Ranger Tommy. It's a fun time. Oh, you left the battle? You left the battle. Really? Because you were going to lose, so you left. Wow. Well, I am just going to go like this then and just use my assist characters because I'm lazy. <laughs> I don't want to actually fight it out and just ultimately just wait till the best move can come out. No. I'm just going to do the convenient... Oh, I can just press this button? Good. I can press this button. Button? It's a weapon. <laughs> it's a weapon. Nobody knows quite... God, what it is... I know there is some commercial... Where, uh, like, Sarah Lee or something? Yeah, there we go. Uh, the one, like, if you want to talk about a creepy commercial, you have the one guy that is, like, desperately telling people, don't squeeze the Charmin! And then ultimately he's, like, secretly, like, squeezing it. And then also you eventually have it to where this guy just has, like, a huge, like, uh like bathroom stall just full of Charmin and he's just been squeezing it and squeezing it and it's like dude you're freaking weird and I'm sure you have some like we're gonna find out that this guy has some weird uh like he eventually was uh was put in jail for squeezing too many Charmins or something and that's what's gonna happen uh that's what's gonna happen we're gonna find out there's some some behind the tales of this whole thing of this commercial. We're gonna find out that's that this guy got arrested for for squeezing too much charm and uh, in between takes. He was squeezing the life out of that charm and mm, yeah oh come on, really? Wow, you are just a You are just a man, I tell you, that lives to survive. I am the tiger. Uh, Ranger one two three four two four two two three four four numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger, Mister Mister Number Ranger. I'm gonna call you Mister Numbers. <laughs> Anybody that doesn't come up with their unique Power Ranger name, that's what they're gonna be. They're gonna either be Mister or Mrs. Numbers. Whoever I. Uh, Whoever eventually I will figure out what their names are. Ultimately, speaking of Ranger, ultimately we have one uh, YouTuber uh, called Ranger Liz, which ultimately uh, I've seen a bit of her reviews. And ultimately I heard that uh, evidently Ranger, uh, Power Rangers, Power Rangers are leaving Netflix. Ultimately there's some of them that are going to be on there, but I'm just kind of curious. Oh my God, it's, oh my God, it's, it's Zio. It's Zeo Ranger. It's Jason. Well, ultimately, I think he's also like a Black Ranger in some other variation of it. Good God, I am getting clocked by this man. <sighs> am I ever going to get out of this? Is it ever going to happen for me? Am I going to take down this man? Yeah. Mm, no, you blocked it. You blocked my... Oh. Uh. You blocked my... Ah. Uh. I almost had you. Just like in the Fast and the Furious movie where ultimately Paul Walker says, I almost had you. And Vince, uh, uh, Vin Diesel goes like, had me. You didn't have your car. And so reasonably you had the whole stupid joke of that. Whereas 
Whereas people being beaten by, by lag or just by a, a Zeo Gold Ranger that had way too much stuff going on there makes me think if only I had a, a, a Zeo Gold Ranger. If only there were no times where I could just get myself a gold Zeo Ranger. Which ultimately, yes, is probably a uh, god. What was the guy's name of uh, the guy who became, who was Zeo Gold Ranger before Jason? Was it like uh, Leonidas or something? Like, uh, was it Candelitis or something? I don't know what his name was. It sounds something like that. Um, or I, I want to say it's like, his name sounds like something where it's like Midas or something. Uh yeah, look at me. Look at me. I'm Zed. I'm attacking you. Look, look, look what I'm doing. I'm, oh, you nerfed my attack, dear sir. How dare you? How dare you besmirch me with your daggers of, of, of times of stuff that you have attacked me with? Mmm, but look at that, though. Oh, but look at this. I'm gonna have to do this one. I'm gonna have to do this one. Oh. That wasn't it. That wasn't as good as attack if I had wanted it to be, ultimately. Really, ranger person you? Really, ranger guy who I don't know what your last name is? And whoop out. Oh! <laughs> you didn't see that coming, did you? You didn't see that one coming either. Yeah. <laughs> Of course he didn't see that coming, because I was too busy having a good time. Man, was that that actually that battle was actually fun. Where any other time I would just be like, not having the funniest fun that I could fun right now. Come on, glitch yourself away from all of this. And. Fart noises. Here we are. And we are here to our way through another claimed corruption box. We're here to seek out and find out where we're going to get from here. We're on our journey to ultimately find out that we are going to get yet another delicious Jason. That ultimately shouts way too much. Fart noises. Putting in putty. Putty? Putty? If only I could have a minion named Putty. That'd be great. <laughs> a Zach from the movie, of course. Gold of Dar and another epic just Silver Ranger. Isn't that quaint? Isn't that just wonderful? Isn't he lovely? All right. So let's go on into... I don't know. I, I, just, uh, I just saw uh, something funny because ultimately... Like, I was thinking, like... I was thinking about, like, avoiding, like, social media for, like, the next couple of weeks. But ultimately, every single time, I'm like, you know what? There's some good in the world. <laughs> not everybody is just, like, uh, like, not everybody is just, like, complaining away about, like, uh, certain things of, of current topic things. Some people are just having fart jokes. And, like, isn't that just quaint? Isn't that just great? Isn't that just gravy to me just be like, meh, hey, cool. Uh, some people post videos about kittens and cats and, and weird stuff like that. And uh, like some people eventually just post fart jokes. It's great. Uh, ultimately, normally I would be that person posting a fart joke, but uh, I just don't have that kind of time to just go out of my way to just consistently just lay down a, a pretty decent fart joke. I think when looking at it, like, um, my, uh, my plate is full of just, uh, not having the time to display a full on fledgly enjoyable fart joke anymore. I just like reasonably like they're like my, uh, my amounts of time where I uh, would normally be displaying a, a decent fart joke ultimately has changed to uh, posting uh, irrelevant things that uh, a lot of points where people are just like, huh? But when looking at it, like there is full on like, huh, going on with a lot of those posts. 
But when looking at it, like, a lot of people are still just like, eh, I'm confused. But ultimately, justifiably, there's sometimes where you have to really look at those people and just ultimately just go, uh-huh. And then they're like, ah, and then that's that's where we go along with our lives. <laughs> what was that whole joke about? I don't know. We just went there and we just kept on going. That's the whole point of life is to keep on going even when the the dust of your uh, backside has has flattered or, or, or flattered. No, platter doesn't sound right. Uh, <laughs> when you're beating to your own drum and your drum is ultimately your backside. There we go. There's the joke. <laughs> There's the joke. <laughs> I have horrible fart jokes. Horrible ones that make no sense. It's all good. None of it needs to make sense. The world is just going to keep on spinning anyways and we're just uh, where we are in the life of which that we come on white ranger tommy don't kill me with your sobbing saber thing oh my god i completely missed that he was gearing it up for when he could miss that he was just waiting <sighs> come on really you gonna white tiger tommy me down because, if anything, Ta White Tiger Tommy is great! He is. He's really great. Eventually, I will obtain that man at some point, but not today. Uh, plus, I don't want to spend the crystal... Ooh! How, how, how many shards do I have of uh, uh, Shielded Kimberly? Which, it'll be a waste to blow these shards anyways. Because uh, I won't get enough to unlock this character. Six... Six, six drops. So more than likely, I might be tempted to do this event just to waste my time. Because <laughs> I know I will. To ultimately probably get like what? Like one whole shard drop? No. Uh, I'm afraid not, dear sir. Because ultimately, I want to wait for ultimately White Tiger Tommy to come out uh, as another event again. Uh, so I can finally unlock him as a leader. Uh, rather than... Because ultimately... What am I going to get? Probably not enough shards to unlock a uh, shielded pink ranger. And then I will just be like, well, this sucks. So I wasted all these crystals for nothing. But I'm also fairly just tempted to just blow them anyways. Just blow all the shards. Because I need exactly four. And I don't think I will get exactly four. I will be wasting. I will be have wasted the crystals. And that is the problem. You don't want a person that wastes a good fart joke. But also just waste, because uh, I, I had to contemplate it for a second. I had to ultimately just weigh my options. I did. It happened. I was there. Prepare for battle, everybody. Prepare for battle. Just prepare. What the fuck? Hey, look, it's Lord Zed. Isn't it great? Well, to me, as a freaking time of good tidings like i don't know this man ultimately has like where's his skin on the outside and isn't that a little weird or maybe he doesn't have skin like i want to know his backstory we gotta learn zed's backstory i want to like i bet they're gonna eventually do that where it's it's gonna be like it's gonna be like how the ninja turtles did that one like shredder story and ultimately, like, that was a big selling book because everybody wanted to know Shredder's backstory. So I think that they're probably going to do that with Zed to just, like, or, or Rita or something like that. Told me you'll finally see their backstories uh, because they're not relevant to the things anymore. Uh, to the gosh darn it, Zed. Come on. Just give me this one, will ya? Just give me this one sweet victory. Please hit the button. Yeah. Oh, God, I almost had you. I almost had you, Vin Diesel. <laughs> oh, my God. No, 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 no. 
Oh, you almost got me there. I saw that. Oh, man, that was close. That was, man, these are some close fights today. I'm liking these. They're really enjoyable. How long have I, I don't even know how long I've been uh, recording for in total. I'll probably have to pause and see. And it looks like this probably episode is going to come to a close a little bit. Uh, I thought it was going to be. Uh, because, yeah, uh, recently uh, I didn't realize I had recorded 22 some odd minutes already. But anyways, yeah, um, there, there are really some times when I'm just trying to figure out what the heck to say for every video. So, because reasonably it could seem very quite easily to be like, oh yeah, you could just talk about all this. But eventually it just kind of gets to the point to where it's just like, every single thing that I probably would talk about is ultimately like, I don't, I hate talking about current events and... So reasoning just kind of like pops in there just like, well, I guess I can just use like a social media thing to just talk about things. So that's usually what just happens. Because ultimately it's like, well, I can't talk about any movies or shows that I've reviewed, even though I've done some. Um, eventually I'm going to be, uh, I've reviewed a show called Bonding and ultimately I'm going to uh, be, eventually sometime today we'll be, be uh, reviewing uh, two movies again. Uh, in one video, because I think the video is going to end up being short enough to where I kind of get through everything. And, uh, but yeah, so more reviews are coming on the other channel, Grim Death Griffin. Uh, you're going to see kind of some interesting different kind of reviews that you've seen before. Uh, because reasonably, I just don't any longer want to, like, I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to review these movies and see where that heads. Um... They're probably very risque movies and whatever, but looking at it, I'm like, meh. Like, looking at it, it's just a way of just, like, going well. I'm just going to kind of conveniently, like, skate by and otherwise just uh, uh, talk about this thing in this manner, and hopefully that works out. Uh, but anyways, why is this taking so long? Let me pause here. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, so we're going to just tail end this video. Uh, but yeah, so... I don't even know what my talking points were. Oh, talking points for just talking about talk. Anyways, um, it's kind of interesting to be playing uh, Guess the Movie Quiz, because I think uh, Guessing the Movie Quiz ultimately had, like, made me want to decide to, like, watch, like, a lot more movies that I probably wouldn't have... Um, like, uh, especially kind of like Disney films, because ultimately I'm like, like, you know what? I never saw this Disney film. I never saw that. Like, I never saw the, like, I never really saw the movie, the live action movie Dumbo. Like, I know, like, Michael Keaton's in it, and then, like, it's a Tim, Mur Tim Burton movie, but I just never actually really ever, like, saw it. Um, so reasonably, I was just kind of interested to eventually go back into that and actually watch it um like i kind of heard that there's gonna quite possibly be like a pinocchio movie that eventually is gonna come out at some point which would be interesting uh yeah great all right uh but i think with that i think we are gonna call this one a episode um yeah, anyways, I've just been uh, really just scrambling lately uh, to figure out what I'm going to do uh, just because reasonably uh, stuff with my phone is getting all wonky, like storage stuff is all really wonky. And uh, so I'm just kind of like going, oh, yeah, I have limited options. So let's come up and do this game or let's try to do this thing today. And so ultimately that's what all these videos really are. But I'm going to get out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody.